Hey, how's it going guys? Alright, so we're gonna first start off by um, installing HML server onto our onto um, our machine. Alright, so in this video I'm just gonna show you step by step as to how you set up the, 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 the utility. But um, uh, the first thing I wanted to point out is that at the moment unfortunately I do not have access to the internet. So, but when I do upload the video, I will leave a link in the description below as to where you can download HML server. So, but um, once you've done, once you get to the site um, and you download the file, this is what the file is gonna look like. It's that's not even that big. It's about four megabytes. And so, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install it on a virtual machine. So, this machine that you're currently seeing now is a virtual machine um, running Windows 7, and then. Um, I'm going to install it here and then also I'm going to show you how you set up domains and accounts, email accounts. It's fairly simple, it's not that complicated, but um, we're not going to be working, after we're done with this installation, we're not going to be working in this virtual machine. Um, I will then, after that, doing the installation, uh, show you all the settings that I have on the host machine itself because I already have it installed there. So without wasting any more time, um, yeah, let's just um, double click on there. And click yes. So we're just going to click next, accept the terms and conditions, and then click next. Just accept the settings as they are there. Click next. Again, accept all of that, and then click next. All right. So between these two options, if you want to set up the, the database by yourself, you can select that option. But I would just recommend using that built in database engine. So we're going to click next. Uh, accept that as it is click next all right now here make sure you remember the password that you type in here because that's what you're going to use to log into the server so i'm just going to make it simple password uh, one two three and then same thing password one two three and then just click next again just accept everything as they are and then click install and then it's going to install the you know, all the necessary files and so forth Okay, and that's and that's it. So we're gonna say click finish, and then that's HTML server. So now when we connect, remember the password that is said that I said you should remember. That's what you use to log into HTML server. So mine was password one. So make sure you type in the one that you um, set up. All right. So this is uh, as soon as you log in, this is the window that you uh, you're gonna see. And then you go there where it says domains, and you just add a domain. So we're just gonna say add. And then again, you can name it whatever. You can name it, uh, let's just say, stock industries, and then say .com. And then you can say save, and then that's basically your domain. And then after that, you will see your domain listed under the domains uh, folder. Then over here, you can come in, and then you can click on where it says accounts, and say add accounts. So you can click on there and say, say, Rody. And then here you put in the password for this email as well. So let's just say Rody123. And then um, everything else, just leave it as it is. And then just click save. And then if you want to add another account, you can click there. And then say, uh, happy. Uh, again, just say, happy123. And just click save. So that's how you add a domain. And then that's how you also add um, what you call it email accounts. You can add as many as you want. Uh, just make sure that you remember the, the, the username, I mean the passwords. And then, um, yeah, that's basically it. So that's how you install HTML server and so forth. And that's how you add a domain and email accounts. And then, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm just gonna stop this uh, virtual machine here. In fact, I'm just going to suspend it. I'm just going to pause the video while it's busy suspending this particular virtual machine. All right, so the virtual machine is done suspending. I'm just going to close this. Okay, so so yeah, if we let's just review the settings I have on my um, or where I store installed the HTML server. So it's going to be password one, two, three. Uh, 
I'm just apologies for that. Let me just see what's going on here. Okay, I've got the caps lock on. Sorry for that. Okay, so this is um this is the host machine where I installed um HML server. So um if you wanted if we wanted to I'm gonna use these email accounts just to um uh, what you call it to test um the email functionality um that we need. But I will show you I'll add another email account under here. Actually, let me just do that now, and then let me just say um user three, right, and then password is just going to be I'm going to say password one two three again and then I'm going to save it um, I'm adding this email account so that I can show you as to how you set that up within um, within a what you call it within Thunderbird all right so just going to open it up uh, while it opens up I'm going to pause the video again and then I'll we'll continue once it's back once it's up okay so I have um, Thunderbird open here um by the way i need to I need to add the password there okay so i'm going to show you how to add an email account here within thunderbird so uh, the first thing i do is i'm going to click on one of those emails it's going to bring up this page and then we're going to say um it's going to open up this window where we added email accounts. So I'm going to say user three and then I'm going to say user three at contoso.com. Uh, and then the password was one password one, two, three. Uh, let's say continue. So here I'm going to use IMAP and then here we can say localhost if you don't want to say localhost what you can do is the, use the name of your computer so for example uh, my name the name of my computer is jtmb1 and then that's how i set up my um, my smtp server so here i just click on that one that says default then the port for IMAP is 143 and then the rest you should leave as it is and say test and then after that it should give you that tick over there you say done just say I understand the risks and then say done and then our email account is now added now let me just show you in terms of the settings right so for the SMTP settings how I set that up was um, let's just say edit so I just named um, the description as SMTP settings and then server name like I said you can say local host or the name of your computer and then here I used the Contoso email server which is um, that email account over there as the email that's that we're going to use to log into this particular server so um, so sorry about that so you can add you can add an extra email account to use as the email account that's going to process the emails so you just use the whichever one you want to use you can even use one of these three as well so but i used contoso uh email server as the the processing email account um so you can just add that there so now when you send emails uh let's just try and send an email using uh, password three if it asks you for a password um, for example, let's say you, you're sending an email and it says, um, as you saw how, how I put in that password earlier on, um, let me just say user one test email, uh, test email, it's not, uh, one, three, All right? So let me just say send. If it asks you for a password, just add, just insert the password that you set up for this email account, which is the one that you set up here where it says encrypted. So now if I click here now, as you can see, I did get my test email uh, over there. 
So that's how you can set up um, uh, email accounts on Thunderbird. You can download Thunderbird. You can just go to Google and click, uh, type in Thunderbird and then download that utility. Um, uh, and then, or you can use whichever email utility, um, email managing application that you want. And the procedure should be plus minus the same. All right, so um, like I said, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just recently found out about the uh, HMail server. Um, um, like I said, it was one of uh, one of the guys who commented on one of my videos. I think he goes by the name of Karis or Karis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly. Apologies if I botched your name. But yeah, it was made known to me by through him. So um, I just recently uh, been playing around with it and wanted to see how we can use it to send emails using Laravel, even though we don't need to. But in case if you're building an application, um, for an internal for internal use and you wanted to have something that you can use to send emails internally um, this is a nice utility to have and so forth and um, and yeah um, um, in the, again going forward you will see how I managed to get it to work um, locally um, using um, email applications like Thunderbird and also within Laravel all right guys so um that's it for the video um hopefully i was able to show you as to how you can install send set up email accounts if you still have any questions just leave a comment below and i'll be happy to help um in any case if you've liked what you've seen so far please don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, i'll be seeing you guys within the next video all right cheers for now